Welcome to my world. 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 So to see, I'm Stan Ridgway and welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out and clicking on my link. We're going to be cooking in my kitchen today. We're going to make a very pantry friendly chicken stew. I'm going to grab a can of the chicken breast that you see there. It's 12.5 ounces available at most Aldi. I'm going to grab a can of mixed vegetables and a can of potatoes. If you have Fresh potatoes, use those. I am out, so I'm going to use my can. I'm out of celery, so I'm going to use the mixed vegetables, and there's a celery in the mixed vegetables. And that's what I'm snagging from the pantry shelves. And then we're going to have a fresh onion and boiling cubes and all that delicious stuff that go into a stew. Other than the canned goods, it calls for bow tie pasta. I'm not sure if I have bow tie, but I have other types that I can use instead. And let's see here, I have ZD, I have a Riccatoni, I have Kraft Mac and Cheese, a ton of spaghetti, and elbow macaroni, a ton of that, by the way. And Dollar Tree does have elbow macaroni back, limited quantities, so check it out if you're looking for that. I do have a bow tie by Great Value. So this is gonna go into that stew. This is everything that you're going to be needing. If you have rotisserie chicken, that's perfect. I'm gonna use the canned half an onion. I'm out of celery at the moment and carrots. So we're going to use the mixed vegetables, which has everything in it. And because I'm out of fresh, we're going to grab the potatoes here and I don't have to peel them. I'm going to throw some biscuits in the oven to dunk in the stew. And whatever pasta you have available, I was lucky enough to have the bow tie, black pepper, salt, and bouillon cubes. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is get that pot of water going on the stove top for the bow ties. I always fill it three quarters of the way full. Someone said use butter and the water rather than oil. I'm going to stir it a few times to get the pasta going. And once it's cooked until it's about al dente, I'm going to remove it from the heat and we're going to drain it. We're going to get the onion chopped up and going in the Dutch oven. And we're going to be busy in the kitchen. If you're new, look for that subscribe button and smash on it for great pantry friendly meal ideas to save you money. Grabbing the Dutch oven. Just getting the burner on to high. I always double check to make sure I got the correct one turned on. I have cooked absolutely nothing for 20 minutes before. I just like to place a wooden spoon over that so it doesn't overboil. Now I'm going to go back over to the other counter and get the onion. I've never cut an onion before. I always do the ends as close to the edge as possible and peel the first couple layers. You can save your peels for compost. After we get this onion cut up, we're going to get the biscuits going and get the oven preheated. We're going to get this going and get the oven preheated. It says just add water. For college students, that is amazing because they don't need to have a ton of ingredients in their dorm room. Now, my son is lucky enough to have an entire hall, three to four floors, and a kitchen, I think, on every floor, and every other floor has laundry facilities. It's a really nice building, and I've been in it. It's awesome. So we're going to get this going with the water gurgling in the background and when that comes to a full boil we're going to dump in the bow tie pasta which i'll save some and make jacqueline some peas and pasta for her dinner tonight it says 450 degrees so get that going get it time to get heated up it is super cold out today 
That is the perfect day to put the oven on. Meantime, we can come back over to the counter. I'm gonna save half of the onion for another dinner idea. And cut up this onion. I do long and short. These onions from our BJ's are so fresh. They raise the price a little bit, unless we grab a different style onion. Next time I go, I will check it out. I didn't go to the grocery balls for today. My husband went. Stove top turned on. I'm gonna start it off on medium heat. And always make sure, once again, we're gonna put a little bit of oil in it at the pot with some salt before we drop the onion in. There is my Dutch oven. It is awesome. It is by Pioneer Woman and not a sponsor. When you make your own chicken stew with your rotisserie and all your fresh vegetables, that will be awesome. This is perfect for when you do don't want to go out to the store because it's cold out. About a tablespoon of the oil, extra virgin olive oil or regular cooking oil, whatever you have. This is all about being frugal and conserving your gas and not having to go anywhere. And we're going to get the onion into the Dutch oven and let it caramelize a little bit and turn translucent. And then once this starts turning a light brown color and translucent, I'm gonna add the water three quarters away full and a two bouillon cubes. I'm gonna be using chicken. You can use vegetable bouillon. I'm gonna get the biscuit mix going, but first I'm gonna turn the heat down on the onions. And I gave them a swish. I like to say that word, swish. We're going to dump in the entire biscuit packet into the bowl. I buy these at Dollar Tree and I stockpile them. And it says you need, I think it says a half a cup. I only need reading glasses, but it's very, very fine print. Not even the $6 million man would be able to read it. Half a cup of water, so I read it correctly. I'm gonna get that into the bowl and mix it up. Absolutely love the smell of onions cooking. My favorite soups is French onion. Dump it on in. Now I'm gonna go back over to the stove top and add in water. This is going to be a stew, not a soup. So be careful how much water you pour in. I'm gonna start with two cups. And if I need to add any more, I will. And it looks like that the water is starting to come to a full boil. Add in your two boiling cubes, chicken or vegetable. You can even use beef if you don't have any other boiling in the house because it's all about being pantry friendly and not having to go out spending money. Go ahead and quickly mix this up. No dry ingredients left behind. 10 to 12 minutes to bake. I've used these for pot pie toppers, for bakes. They're awesome and they come in handy until the price of biscuit at my bulk store comes down. I won't buy it there. I'm gonna grab a cookie sheet and we're gonna spoon drop the biscuits right onto it. Just about to a full boil, so we're going to go ahead and add in the bow ties. Okay. 
just going to use my little butter pat I had set aside for his toast. Dump it on in just like that. So now I'm going to go back over to the other counter and drop those biscuits onto the cookie sheet and then get them into the oven and finish prepping the Hi, stew. It is dark, so I use parchment paper. Time the pasta for eight minutes. Because it's going to go into the hot bath with the Dutch oven and a little fish cooking there. And that's why you want all dente so it's not all mushy. And add to make them all roughly about the same size. Wash my hands and put them in the oven. It made six. Look into the Dutch oven, see how it is doing. The bullions are still dissolving. I'm going to stick with the two cups of water. It said 10 cups, but that didn't sound correct. I'm going to get the biscuits into the oven and climb them for 10 and add on if needed. There's the other cookie sheet that was in the oven. We like to put down a drip tray so we don't have to clean the bottom all the time. Canned potatoes are perfect because they're tender and they don't need to soften up like a fresh potato. So I'm just going to chop them down to size. No specific measurement, just cut them down. and I rinsed the mixed vegetables and we're going to get the potatoes and mixed vegetables into the Dutch First, oven. The mixed vegetables and then the potatoes. Then you dump in your potatoes. There is a perfect amount in the can. Four to five fresh depending on your family size. I'm going to add in your chicken. That is Brookdale canned breast chicken that I picked up at Aldi. $2.89 a can. At this time, your pasta should almost be done. The bow ties. We're going to add in black pepper. Two to three teaspoons or whatever you like to add into your own dish. This is all suggested from the internet recipe. There we go, cooking with salt again. Not my favorite, but it says two to three shakes. So that's exactly what I did. Now I'm going to remove the pasta from the heat and get the bow ties in to the Dutch oven. Go ahead and retreat it from the heat. Have that water ready. And remember we're saving half of these. For There's daughter. about five minutes left on the biscuits. Perfect. That is about half. Here's where you're going to see if you want to add more water into the recipe or not. Now that the bow ties are in it, remember this is a stew, not a soup. Add a splash more black pepper. About a teaspoon there. Oh, it smells really good, everyone. And I can see all the chicken pieces. Let's give you a close up. Better let it simmer for about 10 minutes covered. It's a close up. 
and potatoes and chicken and mixed vegetables with the onions at the bottom all simmering doing its magic let's peek into the oven see how the biscuits are doing the biscuits smell incredible and look at them we were supposed to get a package today but it's probably gonna come tomorrow and I want to get the biscuits out right away from the oven because they're done and let them cool down go ahead and cover your Dutch oven now that we retrieved the biscuits they were done first Ten minutes or so. I like to put my spoon on the side or the spoon rests. I'm gonna go ahead and check in the, the Dutch oven here. Make sure the oven is turned off. It sounds like it's gurgling. It's not quite a boil, which you don't want it to do. When the pasta's done completely, it is done. Let's put some into the bowl and we're gonna try it. Again, you can use rotisserie chicken or whatever chicken you have on hand. grab myself a biscuit. Here's a close-up with my biscuit right in the bowl. Got chicken and potatoes and vegetables, everything you could want for a stew. All from the pantry. Before we go, we're going to taste the chicken stew. We got chicken and potatoes and vegetables. Mm. Now for the biscuit. These are really good. The little biscuit packets from Dollar Tree. For this video thank you so much for hanging out with me today and making that pantry friendly chicken stew all from the pantry shelves really appreciate each and every one of you please smash on that subscribe button down below we do giveaways every hundred subscribers with ten dollar gift cards and we're looking for 16 people to give out one five items prize pack from the dollar tree or your choice of one gift card from any of the gift cards listed down below in the description box our social sites are listed down there as well we now have a Lotus Heat newsletter that we just launched. If you're interested, email me, contraboots1268 at yahoo.com. And all the playlists are linked down below as well. Thank you for your continuing ongoing support. I really appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my family's heart. Have a great day, everybody. If you try this recipe, let me know. It is perfect with any type of chicken or fresh vegetable you have. Just remember, this is pantry friendly, so you don't have to go out to the store and spend your gas. Happy cooking, happy holidays.